Hi guys, this is the Igoratech. Today we are going to install Cisco router image into GNS3. If you are new to my channel, please like, share, click on the bell button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. In the previous videos, we have installed Cisco Layer 2 and FortiGate image into GNS3. Now, we are going to install Cisco Router or Layer 3. First you have to download the two required files, the iOS v startup config which you can download from GNS3 or Cisco website. Next is the VIOS Advertiprise K9 which you can also download from GNS3 or Cisco website. You can also download these files from the link description below. Now, run the GNS3 and wait for the server's summary to turn green. Let's start, click on Browse All Devices. New Template Install an appliance from the GNS3 server which is recommended, click Next. Click Update from Online Registry to receive the latest versions available which we can see appliances are up to date. Now, expand the routers, scroll down and click on Cisco IOS V. You can see the emulator is Quimu and vendor is Cisco. Click on Install. Install the appliance on the GNS3 VM which is recommended, click Next. Click Next. In this window, we can see the versions available, you can see that the iOS v startup config has been already detected. Since we have the file 15.7 so we must select the same version with the file. Click on Import. Locate the vios.qcow2 file which you have downloaded. Click on it then click Open. If you encounter this error, click no because we might encounter some issues. Now, click on create a new version, we will name it as 15.7 then click OK. In my case it automatically detected the file, click OK, also the iOS v startup config has been detected, click OK. Now, you can see the status is found on GNS3 VM and ready to install but if in your case is missing then you have to import it manually. Click on vios.qcow2 then click import. Locate the file then click OK. You can see it's uploading the image. If you see the iOS v startup config is missing then you need to import it as well. Once you see the status is ready to install then click next. Click yes to proceed. It will tell you that there is no default password and enable password. There is no default configuration present. Click on finish. The appliance has been installed and a template named Cisco IOS v15.7 has been successfully created. You can see it from the appliances. Click OK. Now, right click on the installed Cisco appliance then click configure template, we will change the symbol so that you don't have to change it every time you use the appliance. Look for the symbols then click browse. You can use the filter, search for router, we will use affinity circle blue. Click on it then click OK. You can see the RAM installed virtual CPUs, and console type is Telnet. Check the network, you have 4 adapters available, you can add more if you want. Once done, click on OK. Now, you can see the icon has been changed. Let's create new project, click on file, new blank project. We will name it as Project Cisco. Click OK, Project Cisco already exist, I want to overwrite it so I will choose yes. Now, 
drag the Cisco router appliance to your topology. We will add the Cisco switch and also the FortiGate appliances we have installed from the previous videos. Please check if you haven't seen it yet or you can check the link from the description below. Let's connect the appliances, click on add a link then click on the Cisco router. We will use Gigabyte Zero then click on the switch to add a link, you can use any port. Now, click on the switch to add a link to the FortiGate, we will use port 1. Now, let's turn on all the appliances. You will notice that the red icons change to green which means the appliances are already running. Let's open a console to all nodes. You can see the console for the Cisco router, Cisco switch and the FortiGate. While waiting for the devices to boot up, we will check our topology. You can do some modifications, rename the Cisco router to router, Cisco switch to switch, FortiGate 7.0. You can zoom in and zoom out. Show the grid as your guide. Drag and drop appliances to reposition. Show the interfaces labels. Add a note for the IP address, we will give 10.0.0.1 for the Cisco router. Right click on it to duplicate. We will give 10.0.0.2 for the FortiGate. Now, let's configure the IP address for the appliances. Configure terminal to enter global configuration mode, we will set 10.0.0.1 for the Gigabyte 0. Interface Gigabyte 0 0. IP address 10.0.0.1. Subnet mask is slash 24. No shutdown since by default the interface is disabled. You will notice the interface will change state to up. Show IP interface brief, you can see the Gigabyte 0 IP address configured and the status is up. Let's proceed to the FortiGate, username is admin with no password, you have to configure new password for the device. We will give port 1 the IP address of 10.0.0.2. Configure system interface. Edit port 1. Show to view the current interface configuration which you can see the mode is DHCP. We will change the mode to static then we can only assign the IP address. Set mode static. Set IP 10.0.0.2 with the same subnet slash 24. End to apply. Now, we should be able to ping the Cisco router. Execute ping 10.0.0.1 which we can. Next is ping FortiGate from Cisco router. Ping 10.0.0.2 which we can. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. Please help my channel to grow, click like, please share the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.